Hi, hello everyone. My name is Irene and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I have tested positive for COVID and I thought I would do this little vlog in isolation so we can all hang out. I just finished preparing a little golden milk latte. This drink has its origins in India and it's so, so beneficial for your health. I just heated some milk and added some turmeric powder, some ginger powder, some pepper. Pepper sounds a bit of a crazy addition to a drink, but it helps with the absorption of the turmeric. And also some cinnamon and then you can add a bit of honey as well that helps a lot so i'm just gonna enjoy this now i'm doing okay i'm very glad that my symptoms are not too too intense and i'm feeling better now as well when i started feeling sick i had a very very sore throat i was coughing a little bit as well my head was like pounding my body was so sore now i just have a bit of a stuffy nose and i'm feeling very tired still but i'm very thankful that it's not too too intense my family has unfortunately also been contaminated so we're all just isolated at home my dad is also working from home so we're all just like kind of supporting and helping each other it's actually raining a lot today so it's a very cozy day to be inside and do nothing <laughs> which is my plan for today but yes I hope you enjoyed today's video I'm sending you all the love I hope you're all doing well and without any further ado let's just get started with the video this is how I know I'm getting old because I am so stoked about this and finally interesting or to produce content that's even like worth putting out I need to do something Sundays are seriously the best day because it's when all of my favorite YouTubers upload. I have so many videos to watch today, which is so nice. I have this one banana that's like beyond ripe, so it really needs to be used up. So I was thinking of using it to prepare something tasty for a snack. Now I'm kind of torn between like a crepioca or some waffles or some pancakes. And I was looking for recipes on Pinterest and they all include like 30,000 ingredients and I barely have any food left in the house, which is a bit of a problem But the point is I want to use this up So what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of wing it and we'll see what we manage to do I also only have two eggs <laughs> This is so sad <laughs> But what if I turn this into banana bread? You know, when the pandemic started, I was still living in England. And when it started and when we had the first ever quarantine and isolation, I used to bake banana bread all the time, like all the time. So maybe I should make a banana bread because I haven't done one in literal ages. I mean, I don't have a lot of batter because I have two eggs and one banana. <laughs> so I don't know if these will even turn out good, but maybe I'll make a banana bread. just put the banana bread in the oven. I literally measured nothing. I winged basically the whole thing and I'm winging as well the time. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. To be honest, I have like very little expectations. I mean, I think in terms of taste, it's gonna be good. In terms of consistency, I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out. I did find a very cute like heart-shaped mold. So hopefully it will turn out okay. I think I'm just gonna continue checking how it's doing. Yeah, just a recipe that you wing from start to finish. We'll see how it turns out. Behold, the heart-shaped banana bread that was not measured, that was not anticipated, that was not planned for. It was just a spur of the moment. I'm gonna let the banana bread cool off for a little bit before taking it out of the mold. But from what I'm seeing by trying to slightly separate it, 
hopefully it's gonna come out of the molds intact, which I was a bit scared of. Bye! Hello. What a cookie. Fantastic. That is nodding with approval. <gasps> oh my god, are you kidding me? My family and I are now having some tea and we're gonna try the banana bread. I think it's approved. I'm gonna try it. This is what it looks like. It's good. It's very nice. It is like 10.30. I've been watching YouTube until now, but as you can probably tell from my voice, I am very tired. <coughs> my nose is like insanely blocked. And my head does hurt a little bit as well. So I think I'm just gonna end the day here. Gonna get ready for bed. My voice sounds so funny, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, everyone, I'll talk to you tomorrow and hopefully I'll feel better then. I'll see you then. everyone it is the next day i slept in a little bit today so i'm nicely rested and i'm feeling like okay compared to yesterday yesterday my family and i ended up ordering some groceries online which have just been delivered so i thought i would do a very quick grocery haul first up we got bagels so i can have some nice breakfast now no sugar added chocolates honey of course great when you have a cold and a sore throat some tofu, a lot of bread. Can you tell we are a Portuguese household? <laughs> Eggs, strawberries, pears, apples as well, a lot of oranges, there's a lot more in the bag. Carrots, a random beer that they have gifted us, tomatoes, a mango, more bananas, some green apples as well. Oh, my babies, avocados, and some garlic as well. Cucumber and courgettes, some lemons, and lastly, some meats. So yes, that was my very speedy grocery haul. I'm now finally going to have an avocado bagel, which I've been thinking about for the past few days. So I'm gonna have one right now. I have just finished preparing my avocado bagels, which I'm so excited for. I also have some water because you know, you gotta stay hydrated. I prepared again the golden milk latte and I have some vitamins as well. <laughs> Let's eat. Cheers. everyone it's been a few hours since I've last spoken to you I've just basically been here in bed watching YouTube same thing as yesterday and now what I was actually doing is buying books I have this amazing gift card that's about to expire so I can buy a few books with it so of course I want to use it I was given this gift card when I was back in England and it is of course for a British store I'm checking here that they ship internationally which is nice so I might get it shipped here but since it is quite a few books Maybe I will just ship it to one of my friend's houses in the UK and it can keep the books there and then I'll eventually collect them. Not really sure. If I do get the books shipped here to Portugal, I will let you know. We can do a little book haul. If not, we will eventually do that book haul when I eventually go to England to collect the books. But yes, I'm so excited to add new books to my collection. I've been really wanting to get back into reading and do it more consistently and having new books is just always so fun and so exciting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wash my hair. I'm feeling quite tired So I think a nice warm shower is gonna be great and then probably take a little nap. That sounds great So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video